Hello, I'm Jan Mach, a design engineer here at Kodasip, and I'm part of the team developing L110, the first RISC-V core supporting custom body distractions. Software developers do not want to bother with hardware complexity, and they like the abstraction toolchains provide them. And that's how it should be. Nevertheless, if you want to accelerate or make the system more efficient, you need the right core to support your needs. Previously, you will choose core, which has some benefits for your application, but also contains many other compromises to serve broader use cases. So, how to fine tune the, soft, the hardware, especially for your software, without those compromises? Well, that's where the custom mounted instructions come in. Before diving into the CBI, let's briefly explore the L110 to see what is conveniently hidden behind the toolchain abstraction. Uh, the core is integrated within the system, which means it must communicate with the standard uh, bus interface. The core uh, fetches instructions from the memory and loads the data and stores back the results. The L110 has three stage pipeline, which means the control logic must solve dependencies uh, between the instructions. Uh, as the instruction propagates through the pipeline, it's processed by various execution units. And since the L110 targets embedded application, it must also rapidly react to interrupts while preserving the execution context. So, what are custom mounted instructions and how they can help you? Well, in Codasip Studio, uh, you can profile your application and identify opportunities to increase performance, reduce code size, and make the overall system more efficient. You can take this information and define your custom instructions and their corresponding execution units. Do the studio will then take those execution units, interconnect them within the pipeline, while hiding all the surrounding complexity. And the great thing is that uh, you can then compile your application again with the customized toolchain and those instructions will be used whenever they may have some benefits. Let's explore some capabilities of the CBI. You can design simple combinational instructions. So for example, X plus Y shifted by two. But you can design also complex multi-cycle instructions, for example, x power y. And you can use this unit to compute a complex polynomial uh, by incorporating uh, internal storage. By the way, the nice thing is that the pipeline will track um, the content of the um, of the unit, so your context will not be lost. Yep. This way you can use the partial results. And uh, yeah, my favorite uh, feature though is that uh, those execution units can perform the computation independently from the rest of the pipeline. So you can initiate the computation um, and pick the result later. And in the meantime, you can load the data from the memory or execute other instructions. What about other properties of the CBI? Well, good question. All our cores are designed in a way that the new execution units cannot compromise the functionality of the original RISC-V core. So uh, this means that you, can, you don't need to be afraid that you will break the pipeline. Moreover, you can take the same execution unit you designed for the embedded class core uh, and use it in our application class cores. So thank you for your attention and stay tuned for more content.